Hey friends, so I'm back from my first session on the track and I got to say that I was very poor because number one, very less rest in the last uh, two days. I only slept for about uh, four hours, that is two hours a day. And as we know, uh, physical and mental rest is very, very important for track days. And today is an extremely hot day. So I did not push it. I was really taking it easy. I'm not very happy with what I've done. Let's see if I get a little more rest now. In the second session, probably I'll do a little better. Say I'm doing this corner is about 80 km speed. Just an example, 80 km. I'm done at 85. That's counter steering. Okay? So counter steering will help in to tip the bike into the corner. So that's a turning point. Yes, now. So here, after the break point, when you come to the turning point, you will start counter steering the bike. Dip in the bike, get ready to put the bike in. Counter steering is like when you are if you are on a straight bike or riding the bike straight, say about 40 km speed, you slowly touch the push the bike, push the handlebar, right handle, right handlebar. Normally we think because I'm pushing I turn the bike to left. Right? But when you push the bike, only take your hands off, push the handlebar on the right side, bike will dip into the right. I know, but like how did you pull it straight? So that turn, right? The left hand turn. Hmm. Same thing I, I was, was following you. Okay. And I was not even changing gears here. Yeah, I know. Why? Mm. You are okay now? Yeah, check. Take it out tomorrow to fix. No, nothing. Flesh. I had only one side to fix. You flew and fell onto your back. No, no, no. I am having pain. You will have uh, burn marks. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Sure. Are you the bike also flipped it. Yeah, the bike, bike went this good. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm looking at him, okay? I'm like, wow, Emmanuel was going so nice. Then suddenly I see him fly right and bike, your bike did that. Oh, what? Fast, That's one. You can make out the, the bike, bike flipped. flipped. Bike flipped. Hey friends, so this is the last timing session now. After all the classroom sessions have been done and it's extremely hot as I mentioned and the tires are very hot and also the tarmac is kind of uh, losing grip now and i oh, don't know <laughs> what, what's gonna happen i'm not gonna push very hard to set any special lap times because when the tarmac is very hot and the tires are very hot uh, the tires tend to slide and i don't wish to crash so let's see how it goes and let me get on to the motorbike they are putting the transponders onto the bike so let me get on I am also low on fuel right now and extremely tired of course. Now imagine this friends, you know what, I go on to the final session, the lap timing session, thinking that I'll do some good lap times because I was tired the whole day and one hour ago I had lunch, I gained some energy back and I go onto the track and I realize that I'm out of fuel. <laughs> the motorbike is almost empty because we've been riding since morning and well, so I just have probably about one liter of fuel left, so I decided instead of riding on the track, I better ride on the road in economy mode at about 40-50 km an hour and go to a fuel station. So I am leaving now.